Hello and welcome to Lawbeck Luxury Cars. I'm Harry and today I've got a car for you for this edition of the Friday Drive that, to be honest, I'm very surprised we haven't actually already done. And it's this, the Lamborghini Gallardo, specifically a 2005 model. Now, what could I possibly say about this that all you guys probably don't already know? So let's just not muck around, let's get it on the road and see how it goes. Lamborghini Gallardo. To be honest, I'm quite surprised we haven't done a Gallardo previously because we're not totally unfamiliar with them at Lorbeck Luxury Cars, as you probably well know. So, I'm not quite sure why it took us so long. But anyway, we're here. So, what is the Lamborghini Gallardo all about? Well, it's pretty straightforward. It's a supercar. <laughs> Harry, naughty boy. Stop it. Sitting behind me, right, literally right behind me, is a 368 kilowatt 5 litre V10, which is good to get you from 0 to 100 in just 4.2 seconds, and it will keep on going until it reaches its top speed of 309 kilometres per hour. Well, more than you could ever possibly do in this country unless you're brave and probably very stupid. And what all that v 10 amounts to is a lot of fun. Just have a listen. pretty strong brakes as well. Just feel this. Oh. It almost rips your face off. We weren't even going that fast. It's, it's crazy how quickly not only this thing gets going, but also how quickly it stops. It really gives you some confidence. This, as you probably know, has got the four-wheel drive system. So unlike most supercars, this car is actually very, very confident on loose gravel, snow, ice, and particularly wet weather. It's a very, very sure-footed car, and it makes it just a car that you can really ring it. You can really grab by the scruff of its neck and give it a good old thrashing. But just because it's a supercar doesn't necessarily mean that they've forgotten about all the bits and pieces which make driving actually half enjoyable. We've got climate control, we've got a button, if you push it, it says A, and it does all the changing itself. We've got dials which tell me a whole variety of things which I don't understand, like volts and something with bar on it, all very handy stuff. And this car's been optioned up with an upgrade Bluetooth connected sound something or other system, which is quite a handy little feature. But let's be honest, the reason you buy this car is one, the way it looks, two, the way it sounds, and three, the way it goes. And I can promise you, if you're buying it on those three counts, you won't be disappointed on any of them. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, um, boys and girls at home. I'm actually, if it's a choice for me between Ferrari and Lamborghini, I'm the kind of person who always goes to Ferrari. I like that sort of the delicate feel of it. But I can well understand why someone would buy a Lamborghini over a Ferrari. It's got a sure-footedness that a Ferrari just doesn't have. It gives you the confidence to really throw it around. And it's a lot more forgiving than a Ferrari. It's a lot less snappy. It's you put it into a corner and it doesn't feel like it's about to leap out or go onto a different lane or do anything like those, you know, other supercars do. And when you put your foot down at the other end, it just takes off. There's no fuss, there's no complications, it just goes. And the collaboration between Audi and Lamborghini 
to be honest, is a very good one. You've got all the security of knowing that it's a proper German engineered car. All the mechanical bits are properly German. But the heart and soul of this car 100% comes from Lamborghini. You would not confuse this for anything but a Lamborghini. As you will always ask, it's a question of price, isn't it? Well, I need to explain to you that this car was over $400,000 new. I think it was something like $425,000 new. Today, this particular example is $179,990. And, as I'm currently reading, we've got 46,323 Ks. It's barely been used. And with a full Lamborghini service history, from new and up to date, and I think the last service was done only a couple of hundred kilometres ago, this is a very, very affordable car to buy. Once right out of the check, of course. Because these are not going backwards. These are right at the bottom of their depreciation cycle. And it makes it a very affordable car to actually own. And the other great thing is, no one thinks you're driving a Lamborghini at the bottom of its value cycle. They still see a really, really hot car. No one is going to look the other way when you come down the road in this thing. It's a proper, proper head turner. So come down to Lorbeck Luxury Cars and buy this really, really top-notch, pristine example before someone else does.